Edi pe shej takjen. Pomegranet. That is the right color. Well, Balta, what is the problem this time? Your Majesty, the problem is the Israelites. They proclaim peace, yet continually strengthen their army. And for what purpose? They are afraid of the Pharaoh, perhaps. What have we to fear? In spite of our eternal hatred, we now have friendly relations with Israel. True, but our security is threatened. Almost fanatically, they support their great King Solomon. A dreamer. A man of peace. But a man of ideas. And there's nothing more dangerous than a man with an idea. The threat is real? Very real. Solomon's threat is not only his army, but his God. His God? We have a hundred gods. It is this one God who teaches that all men are equal and none are slaves. What a foolish idea. And yet, if that idea were to take hold of the people, the Queen of Sheba would soon come crashing down from her throne. As would all other absolute monarchs. Therefore, I strongly advise Your Majesty to attend this conference. You see, Balta, to catch the bird, first bait the trap. Perhaps we can help the Pharaoh solve the problem of Solomon and kill two birds with one stone. <laughs> Since Solomon came to the throne of Israel, I've watched his strength grow. Until now, his power has become a threat to my northern borders. And the wealth and trade which once came to us now finds its way to him. For too long, we have delayed plans for his destruction. Yes, take up arms against him. Raise a great host. Trample Israel into the dust. King Eglon, from Moab, I want a thousand heavy chariots. I will send you two thousand. Chaldeo, from Chaldea, you will send me 5,000 archers. More if they are needed. We will launch the attack exactly as I have planned. From the north, the east, and the south at the same time for surprise. The Israelites will not know how or where to make a defense. We will drive them into the sea. And Sheba, what force will you send against Solomon? None. Why? Are you not my ally? We must put an end to Israel. With it, this dangerous idea of one God. You talk of war. How can you destroy an idea, a faith, with the point of your spears? There is only one way it can be done. What do you suggest? Have you a plan? I have. But for every plan, there is a price. What do you want this time? The port of Melish on the Red Sea, in return for the downfall of Solomon. It is impossible. Melish is my port. This time you ask for too much, Sheba. Tell me, what would be the cost of a war against Israel? You know very well. And I offer you a plan almost without cost. His Majesty hesitates, Balto. Perhaps we should return to Sheba, rather than to visit Jerusalem. Wait. I grant it. And how will you destroy Solomon? It is said that Solomon is wise. But no matter how wise a man may be, he is still human, with a human weakness. I will sit at the feet of Solomon, like the wise men who flocked to Jerusalem. And perhaps I will learn from his own lips the way to destroy him. Truly, the way of a woman is beyond our understanding. The way of a woman is simple, my lord. It is always to follow the way of a man. I shall keep myself informed of your progress in Jerusalem. Mother! Mother, come! 
Come, look, mother. Compliments. I am Benaiah, captain of the King's Guard, sent to escort you into Jerusalem. Greetings, Her Majesty the Queen of Sheba. Your Majesty, the King of Israel wishes me to convey his greetings to you. Truly, your king has built nobly. There is no such splendor, even in Egypt. And all that for a god they cannot even see. be as beautiful as we have heard. This is something I never thought to see. A pagan welcome to Israel. How can a pagan be converted to the true God unless she be brought to know him? We must never forget she's an ally of Egypt. Because she is an ally of Egypt, we must show her our unity and our strength. Let us offer her our friendship in the hope that we may have one less enemy confronting us. 